man um, surely deserves you. I, I know those words. Hi, welcome to the speaker corner. Even though that's really the corner and I'm sort of like eight feet from that corner. Hello, VMVA1, VMVD1. S -E. I should have brought the original D1 down here. You see, this is SMSL's luxury brand. Just like, uh, you know that Honda? You know that Acura is just Honda. If you look at the H in the Honda, it looks like that. If you look at the Acura, it's just that. It's, it's what they did. Same for Lexus and Toyota. Same for, I guess, uh, what the hell is Mercedes higher-end brand? It's not Brabus. That's another thing. Anyway, so you don't see SMSL written on any of this. You see VMV which I, it just looks cool. It's a V and an M and a V. Um, and I've already reviewed the A1, and I've already fallen in love with the A1, and I've already given it, like, all the praise I could fucking shovel onto it in the mezzanine A1. So it's time to bring it down the basement, where it could actually Fill me up. listen to it. We've got the giant uh, RB81 twos up on the stands. These are, these are a no longer sold set of 8-inch clips, and... Um, it's irrelevant that they're playing it really well because um, we're at 35 out of, I think, 70. And who surely deserves me, but I... uh, that's Love Fool by uh, Postmodern Jukebox. What we're here to actually review is the sister, the D1SE. So I've got this hooked up to the D1SE. This only has RCA input. So this DAC, which is under 1,000, 7,850, money. Um, APO sent it out. So they're like, hey, we already sent you this. Now we're going to send you this. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, the first thing you'll note, doesn't say MQA anywhere on it. It does do MQA. It has all the fucking stupid folding features, blah, blah, blah. But they've had the common courtesy to not plaster it with it. They've got the, the, the high-res audio sticker here, which we can just, we just pick. Can I get this? I want to get this off. Like, duh. It's hundreds of dollars. It better fucking produce high-res audio. Stick this on here. This remote control is now a high-res audio remote control. There you go. Perfect. So, it is very clean. This feels like luxury. And it's got the same spiked feet with the little, the little pads that you have to put under it, or it'll poke a hole in your table and actually put a cutting board down. Um, because I, I couldn't just put those on the, the, the mat, which is on the mouse pad. So I had to go and put something hard down on it. Giggity. And I would have put wood, but I can't afford wood. Jesus. So um, this is the sister DAC to this. And since this only feeds this RCA, I wanted to test the balance capability of this DAC. So I whipped out the Singzer SA1, and that is going to feed these Odyssey LCD XCs, which are sent by Mimic Cable. So I'll link the Singzer at APOS, look these at Mimic, and both these at APOS. And um, I just for, because I, I need to constantly approve of things repeatedly. Um, not mute, switch. I've got the new Anandas here. Also sent by a post, by the way, which are just so I'm I'm now judging the DAC via speakers and headphones via this, and then balanced out to the Singer and via headphones via this, and that's the locked volume. I'm gonna go here and uh review over this thing's fucking amazing i was gonna say this thing's fucking tits but i don't think that translates well enough i have a very very international audience and if you say this thing is is the fucking tits people are going to start looking shit up in thesauruses and it's not going to make any sense to them so you know what my opinion is on dax right uh, right over there sitting on top of the vmv d1 se box is the topping d70s and I said, that's the most DAC you need. And I stick with it. But if you have this and you want to match it, why the fuck not? That's it. That's all I could tell you. Because I'm not going to be like, oh, don't buy this because it's $100 more than that. If you have that, at least that has MQA on it. Fucking, mm. DACs are a, a last step. Once you have your speakers set up, your amplifiers set up, your headphones set up, even the goddamn stuff. Stupid cables. By the way, I'll link to these on Amazon. They were $55 and they dropped in price and they're just giant stupid cables. They, they improve nothing. 
but the looks. And I'm okay with that, as long as you say they improve nothing but the looks, so they cost what it should cost to improve looks versus sound. Look, they're plugged into a fucking T-tap onto an extension cord, which is going into a sine wave generator Eaton uh, UPS, which I will link the, that loud motherfucker. I gotta go and modify that with Noctua fans. But yeah, that is feeding sine wave generated power signals to a splitter. To these, everything's wonderful. Everything's beautiful in the world. And honestly, you could replace this box with anything down to $200, the Shelly Labs J2. And it probably would not take away from the experience that I'm having. But uh, what, what's different from like what you can hear and what you can feel, I feel fancy because this exists. That's it. I think most audiophiles need to come to terms with that. It's like, are you really, are you really like, are you hearing a difference? You sure, Jim? Jim, are you sure you're hearing a difference? You absolutely 100%. Because there's people who just change their, their speaker wires 22 times and they hear 22 different sound signatures. Are you sure, Kevin? Kevin, are you sure, Kevin? Oh, you, you, you change from four inch cable risers to six inch and it definitely opened up the, the sound stage. Are you fucking sure, Natalie? Hey, Natalie, did you take your pills today? That's how I feel about audiophiles in general, like the real hardcore ones. So I'm going to just level with you. I like this DAC, and that's, I'm not farting, it's the fucking ball chair. I think this DAC sounds perfect. I think it looks perfect. I think the remote control is amazing. It's the same remote control that came with the other one. Only difference is on the back, they printed the word DAC, because guess what? The DAC one won't control the amp one, and the amp one won't control the DAC one. So it's, yes, amp is amp one, and DAC is DAC. It's wonderful. Can't get that kind of service anymore. And once you've got everything sorted out for actual quality, like this actually sounds different and better than most of the more powerful 200 watt per channel, but they're real class D and they're talking about two ohm, this is 10 watts. This is 10 watts, and with these speakers, it'll kill you. And I just had, I just, just had the Sabage A20A and the SMSL AO200, which is just the same fucking company, basically. And they push these speakers ju fine, just fine. But those have like 100 watts, or, or what do they claim? 150 watts into two ohms, which is 50 watts. And this has one fifth that, and it's still going to kill you. Death is still coming for you. Well, that's not a loud song. And it legitimately, I can tell, because I just did the review like an hour ago, the, the units are all piled up over there, that I like the way these clips sound more on the VMVA1. So, that being said, we already reviewed the A1, moving on to this. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it works great. It has the same looks, uh, it has the same build as this, where there's no, it's not even a cut box, it's just solid. They actually have the bottom, there's four screws that come out. Uh, it comes with the spiked feet. I don't remember if this one did this, has four short spiked feet in case you want to have it level. I guess maybe they only do this one with the only angled, so you could put this one level on the bottom and then put the little spiked feet on top of this one so that it's tilted, because you don't want to double tilt, you'll just be keep stacking it till it falls down. I don't know. Uh, as far as me listening to the Singzer through the LCDs, trying to find any flaws in the DAC, there are none. However, you can introduce some. See, I haven't had the pleasure of this for a long time. I think the last DAC that did this was the uh, SMS SU8. The SU8 did it, I think, and then the predecessor to this, the D1, which was $1,300. So this is actually cheaper than its predecessor. So here's what we can do. We're gonna go into the menu now, and we have, I'm gonna take the camera off my head so I can talk weirdly from behind it. We have got inputs, a little blurry, outputs, PCM filter, DSD filter, sound color, which is where we're gonna fuck with, pre-out, DPL, I2S mode, I2S mode, I2S mode, function key, dimmer, brightness, reset. That's actually quite a lot for, you know, a DAC. And it's easy to navigate, unlike the uh, Sabage A20 uh, fucking D. So inputs you obviously have 
uh, USB optical coaxial I2S, which I'm not using currently. I'd have to go grab the I Pi Hat and it's already set up in the other part of the house. Um, and Bluetooth, which Bluetooth is Bluetooth 5, so I'm on coaxial. Outputs, you have a choice of all, which is XLRs and RCAs, or just XLR or just RCA. And you can switch that with the button right here, um, which is convenient as fuck. PCM filter. Look at that. Written out fully. You could see appetizing, slow linear, fast linear, fast minimum. There, put fast minimum on. I don't. I can never hear a difference in those. DSD filter cutoffs. What do you want? Cutoff at 70,000. Sounds great to me. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Because I only played with these on my D1, and then I ended up leaving it on, I think, tube 3. So, unlike other things that have, like, an EQ, these sound color options, which are as follows... Uh, standard, then Rich 123, Tube 123, and Crystal 123 actually just add a flavor to the sound. And they are what they say they are. They are rich. Rich adds here. We'll, we'll, it should work through the speakers, but I'm going to go headphones so I could actually play it without mute that. This should be good to go. Play. Oh. Back in sound color. Now, the different levels, Rich 1, 2, and 3, 3 is the highest level. It just, that's adding like a reverb effect on Rich. Definitely warming it up. Now let's go to Tube. Oh, Tube does really nice things. I'm going to take the Tube to 1 instead of 3. Oh, that's sweet on these headphones. Now Crystal 1. Definitely sharpening up those highs. Just, just, just giving me a little bit of like this. See this? When the sound does this on purpose, it's literally telling you it's sound color. It's coloring the sound. It's a DAC that's coloring the sound. It, it, it can be as clean as you want, or not. That's worth its weight in fucking gold. I'm back to standard, and I could tell that all the color correction and things are off. Uh, Pre-mode, by the way, has fixed a variable, which for some reason still leaves 99 on the front. Where a lot of the other ones, you have to hold the power switch and hit the button and turn it on, and then you could eliminate that. This just has fixed and variable in the menu, and it leaves 99 there, so hopefully you like that many luft balloons. Uh, DPLL, lower for better de-jitter. So I can put DPLL bandwidth up, or I can lower it to lower the jitter. I don't know. Play with it. See what you like. I2S mode, normal or inverted. I2S DSC channel. Uh, PCM LRAC or data. And then you have IDSC flags, pin 14 and 15. So it has all the options. Function key 4, which is interesting because you have the function key on the remote. And right now it's the switch between outputs. Or you can make it for the Bluetooth to turn on. That's a convenience feature. I, maybe I don't want it. Maybe I use Bluetooth more than I want to switch between inputs and outputs. I wish it had a couple more options in there, but, I mean, shit. The dimmer is the screen dimmer, which you can have up to 60 seconds or never turn off. Brightness is actually, like, my favorite color scheme. It looks like old-school flames. It comes from yellow to orange to red. So that's cool. And then reset resets everything. So, I mean, just for the sound color options, because that's the problem. Having, having to review this means I had to listen to it. I know, it's fucking life's pain. But I had to listen to it in standard mode, because I had to judge it against all other DACs that only have standard mode. But now that I'm done, now that this review is being filmed, I get to go into that menu and say, fuck it, I don't want to hear a, a perfectly clean linear amplifier or DAC like this is. By the way, it's using a uh, Sabre ESS 9038 Pro, I think, is the, hold on, let me just check where my volume is here. Hey, I remembered it. Yeah, the ES9038 Pro, because AKM burned to the ground. Uh, Qualcomm 5.0, MQA decoding. It's like the fourth bullet point is MQA decoding. Thank you. It has humanized operation. The, the, if you go to A-Post and you look at the fucking pictures, they're terrible, but it's so fun. Except when it gets to MQA and it starts explaining how MQA is better than everything, and I'm like, as it scrolls past, I just my finger goes up. Remote control antenna, blah, 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 blah. I mean, you want to talk about <coughs> dynamic range on the XLR, XLR is 130 decibels dynamic range. And the total harmonic distortion plus noise. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll. 
zero point zero 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 nine four zeros past the decimal place and then a nine so that's 121 decibels total amount so there's no noise it is noiseless it is noise free i don't know what a thys con driver is but it has one it also has an xmos uh, xu six two sixteen sixteen core processor yay i'm happy for all these things doesn't fucking matter how is it handling my joy and ownership from the looks of it? From the features it has, which those sound color things are, you don't think you want that. You don't think you want that because you're an audiophile and you want the purest signal possible. But guess what? After two weeks of the purest signal possible, you have two choices. I know this because I've got 300 people in my $10 patronage chat. Your choices are either buy something new because you're bored or start fucking with things you already own. And let me tell you, if you can have the option to just fuck with the sound and go, I'm gonna try it on tube two today. If that extends the time you're fucking with a single piece of equipment versus buying something new, that's worth its weight in gold. And I wanna sit around and play with this. I wanna apply different speakers on, on this amp, or maybe this to another amp and then feed the color sound, the tube sound. In fact, what do I have? Let's do that. Because I haven't got a chance to do it yet. Sound color. Let's go to the highest tube value of three. Get out of here. And now this is muted. I'm going to lower that a little bit. Apparently lowering the volume on this unmutes it. Let's re redirect my review to that. Holy shit. Next. That's Steven Schwartz, Bullet Train, Feet, Joni Fatora. Moving like the speed of sound. Wait. Feekin. Wow, it's actually changing where this, like I just went from tube to rich and it changed where the sound, like the vocals are coming out. So maybe even more violent than on a headphone is what this can do through speakers. So, I mean, that's worth money. That's worth money. It's like what I, what I requested when I did the IFI um, Zen can. It's like, I just want a box that IFI makes that has a signal in and then signal out. And this box just has buttons and it doesn't have to be labeled. It could just be effect one through 32. Just, and it just does things. This is doing them probably digitally um, because it is a DAC after all, whereas the IFI stuff is all analog world, which is why it would cost a million dollars. But just the fact that it's it's willing to fuck with it without being an EQ, because that's the thing, it's not an EQ, it's not just bass boost. Uh, there's so many things that are just bass, jazz, rock, none of that. It's literally just twisting the, the, the I mean, it probably could be equated to an EQ, but I feel like it's doing more than that. Just because I play with EQ and I usually don't like any of them, and I like every single one of these. So yes, do I like the D1SE? Yes. Do I think it's worth the money it costs? Uh, uh, I'm gonna link three DACs, all right? And you decide. This will be the most expensive DAC, followed by the slightly cheaper topping D70S. That'll be below it. Followed by the Gashelli Labs J2, which is like bargain basement dirt cheap comparatively to those two. So that's like, like you can go lower than the J2, you absolutely can. But I'm talking about if you need a balanced outputting DAC, that's like, all right, those are your th those are three choices now. Higher than this, you want to go for something that's like full on R2R, a musician Pegasus, things like that. You can go find the links for those on your own. Right now, this is this is maximum spend. And that's real close to maximum spend, or like I said, it was perfect. But this has those cool color features, doesn't it? And then you go down and you get the Gashelli Labs and be done with it. So, yes. Uh, I'm going to now shut the camera off. Well, first I'm going to shut everything else off, but this, which is powering those, because this sounds amazing. And, um... Deep on the ground. Holy shit. Can't stay in one place. Ah, uh, okay, no. Sounds fucking amazing. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, it also comes with a key to unscrew the back of the thing. Don't lose that because it's real hard if you lose that. Huh. I'm. I'm. That's it. 
There's nothing, I can't even like look at the back of it. Like it, it's just, there's the I2S port, which is the only port that the optical and the USB are there. So you cram them all in there, power switch on the back, but you don't need it because the power switch is in the front. So hold the power button. This is it. This is, this is the ultimate neat and clean. I want speakers. I want a headphone amp. And by the way, I want the fucking DAC with color features. And I want to output balance to another headphone amp. Done. 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 I'm fucking done. Uh, there is, and I hope to get this one at some point on the horizon. Let me show you. I'll link it, obviously. But there is the VMV A2. So this A1 was like 650? 660. There is a $1,000 A2. And you're thinking, well, Zeos, what does that do? Whereas this is class A and has like 10 watts per channel. The, um, that one had, oh God. I think it's class D now, <laughs> 100 watts per channel. And has built in DAC, has built in everything. It has all the inputs you need on the back of it. So that's the all in one desktop solution that I'm hoping it will be. Yes, that has optical in, USB in, coaxial in, has line in. Oh, holy fuck. Is that a line in? AES, an analog input. Oh, Jesus. Jeebus tubers, where'd you go? She evaporated. How'd you do that? How'd you do that? Anyway, on this wallpaper, uh, rendered by 77T, he's a guy on YouTube who makes anime girls dance. I'll link to his channel and I'll link to the wallpaper and then his channel. Um, Cause he does a great job with fabrics, holy crap. Um, I'll link to that wallpaper. Obviously linking to these things, that thing, this thing, this thing. I won't link to cutting board. You could buy that on your own. <sighs> link to the speakers. And if you want to join my Patreon or subscribe so to support these fucking mad ravings, please feel free. For $5 a month, you get to see these reviews early. Like up to two weeks early now. Because every other day reviews and I'm just going to pound them out. Pound them. I'm just going to pound them like they're bad. Pound them out. And then you'll have them for, you know opted, you know, three weeks. And then if they're sold out when they go public, not my fault. Your fault. Not my fault. I'm, it's not my fault, Dr. Jones. Not my fault. Oh, that was crooked. Um, yeah. Uh, see your views early. Participate in the yard sales. This is two items that if they decide to leave them here are never leaving. I, it just There's no fucking way. This has been my favorite device of the year so far. And we're halfway through. It's just like, mm, but Singer and this are like, mm, combine them, make them kiss. This complements this fantastically and has its own merits. Like, I'm going to go through the sound color, which I love how it stays on that. Let's, let's see what um, Crystal One does for that song. Ooh, see, no, Crystal One... Crystal One's making that, those, those, those horns are getting that old school clipsh. Oh yeah, now never ever put that on. Never ever ever put that on. Let's try tube one. If I don't get monetized, by the way, thank you for supporting this channel. I tend to push the limits of monetization just with my music playback. Forget about saying fuck 18 times in a row. Fuck, 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 the end. So if you don't want to have, if you want to have that hooked up to, you could have the XLR and RCA hooked up to speakers and a subwoofer or two different sets of speakers or two different amplifiers and just, just switch them on and off. And it matches the, where the hell did the remote go? There it is. And since I have it left on function, that's what the function does. All out RCA or XLR out. Yeah, we're done. I did my outro already. Should have to wait up for me, baby. Um, if you want to join $5, see reviews early, participate in your art sales. If you want to join for $10 on either subscribe to our Patreon, get in the behind the scenes private Telegram chat where you can ask me any questions you want and I'm guaranteed to answer it. Unlike everywhere fucking else where I just, if I happen to be there and I happen to see it, I'll answer you. Because though there I will answer it or other people will answer it who have honestly a lot more experience with certain items than I do. So it's a wonderful paywall to climb over. Um, 
Yeah, and then after that, it's just Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides Forum, which we are really going to start bolstering up the forum and the guides because we've been lackluster with them. But now that I have so much free time and I could actually spend time examining these wonderful things, we'll be good to go. So, yes, thank you for stopping by. Um, videos on the uh, other channel are sound demos. I have a sound demo channel that's dedicated now. I have an unboxing channel, basically, although it's really a free-for-all channel, but it's mostly unboxings. And then I have cooking videos and hi-fi guides. This isn't a channel, but it should be a channel. No, I think it should be a channel. But yeah, check those out. Check me out. I'll see you in two days. Thank you for stopping by. This is my therapy. This is my sound therapy. When I do like six items that I'm like, eh, and then I get one that's like, oh, uh, this is the uh item. This is the uh, this, uh, th this, uh, oh. I'm going to kick this, the ball. I should just make that a permanent link in my description because everybody wants the cool ball. And uh, we're done here. Wallpaper in the description and I'll see you in two days.